Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Higen Aruto. For today's video, we're going to talk about all of the opening content to come that we know so far regarding the global launch, and I'm going to show some actual gameplay to go along with it. Alrighty, so <laughs> they've been releasing previews on their Twitter page about what's to come for Higan Aruthal. Now, I played the soft launch already. Uh, all of these events already happened. I have already played them all. So here I am, ready to help you guys out here. And we're going to discuss the banners, who to summon for. We're going to take a look at the first events. How was that? Let's take a little bit of a deeper look. So first up, they did talk about the events that are going to be kicking off the global launch. So the first day, uh, both of these banners are going to be there to summon on. This is really nice. So we have Aluya here, who's like a single target DPS. She's an assassin. She's also of uh, the Umbra uh, element. So, let's see. For free trial, she'll be available until the region cleanse of Chapter 1 is reached. So they do let you kind of play with her at first, which is really fun. And then we also have Gildzen, who is also of uh, uh, Umbra. And she is a guardian. And she'll be up on a banner as well. But her banner goes until the 19th, where this one only goes until the 12th. Now, what's going to happen is, on the main server, there's going to be a permanent banner that's a beginner banner as well. I mean, I think they're doing the same thing. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So, if they do the same as they did to start, uh, we're going to see this here. I think this is the one. The guaranteed triple, uh, or sorry, SSR. Uh, I think that's the one. I could be wrong. Yeah. Where we had a certain amount until you got a triple S. So if that's the case and that's there, that one stays there until you use it. So you don't have to go in on that banner first. You could try to roll on one of these banners that are coming here. So like we have Soul Threads and Amethyst Protector, we know is going to be um, the starting banners, right? So along with that, keep in mind that this one is a little bit longer than this one, like I said, but we're also going to be getting a premium currency to use for summons. Um, like it's this, this purple, where is it? I think I show it. Uh, you can't really see it, can we? But this very first uh, set here, we're going to get some summon materials. So you should be able to go in and um, very quickly to decide if you're going to reroll or not and we'll pull on a banner. So you're going to want to decide, are you pulling for the DPS or are you pulling for the tank? And well, let's be honest, more than likely you're going to pull for the DPS. But to be fair, we're getting a free DPS with media who's actually pretty good. So let me pull up my video where actually I did a guide on uh, Gilded. Yeah, I have this video here, uh, Character Spotlight. So if you're on my home page of this YouTube channel, first of all, appreciate any subs. This is a new channel that is getting revived. Uh, it's not actually monetized, even though I've got almost 2,000 subs, but we'll get there. But these other videos are from my older, my main, I should say, my higher sub and older YouTube channel, but I've put them in a playlist so you can see. But yeah, so if you are on the homepage, you can actually see all my Hegan videos or hit for the playlist. But I did a spotlight on Jilden. Gilden. As our ex um, and I'll show some gameplay. So the reality is both Gilden and Eluya are very good. And the thing is, they're very good together. So that's one of the biggest bummers is between the two characters, deciding what to do, um, 
it's hard because you kind of want both. They work together very well, which I talk about in this video specifically. I'm not going to overly talk about both characters' kits in this video or else we're going to be here for a while. So if you want to see a little bit more about Gildan and how her and Aluya synergize, you can watch this video on my channel. But they actually do synergize very well. They're both the same faction and there's a bit of a buff that stacks that you can use to benefit both of them. Also, so Gildan has an interruption skill, which you'll see used here in a second. Uh, so that's really helpful because there's only so many interrupters and that's very valuable against specific bosses like something like this guy here. See, like that skill that's buffing and just interrupting success. So she's really good for that. Uh, Aluya is going to just be a pure assassin damage dealer. She's smack. She's really fun. But she, because she is such a good, strong heavy hitter, I think she's going to be a little bit better to push you through content. Uh, even though we are going to get Media as a free champion, which I have in all my comps with Aluya, and they both do well together. To be fair, I mean, could media carry you pretty far? Yeah, but there's definitely going to be some stages where you wish you had a stronger single target DPS against some of these bosses in harder stages later on. Uh, so honestly, I think I think if I were you and I was coming into the game for the first time, if I was rerolling, I would reroll. I would roll on the banner for Eluya, pull until you get her, and then transition transition to Gildan. If you can do both banners, that would be ideal. Personally, um, I, pray, I played completely free to play. That's a tongue twister. I was completely free to play because I had to be because I was on a Canadian server and I didn't really set it up to have a Canadian currency to use to spend. So I couldn't spend even though I wanted to. And I was actually able to get Eluya pretty early. It didn't take me all the way to pity to get Eluya. And then I pulled uh, for, I then I actually went over to the banner, the, t the permanent banner for the guaranteed SSR. And then I went to Gildan, I think was my order. But yeah, I actually went ahead and kind of got both. And I think it's definitely possible. I don't think it's too hard to give both characters free to play as long as you grind everything out pretty well use all your energy and hopefully they give us some extra bonuses with resources it really wasn't that bad now if you're getting close on your dates for stuff i would definitely suggest that you um i don't know i would suggest maybe you wait for the trip the ssr banner but the ssr banner with the guarantee could also be what makes you decide whether or not to reroll. So keep that in mind as well. You probably want to go in, try to get, if you're going to reroll, pick a tr p SSR. Um, and if you don't get one, I mean, move on. But it's not exactly easy to reroll for this game, but I'm going to make a whole separate video on all that. So that's another discussion. But I just wanted to kind of discuss the banners. And let me go back to those right now. I really think that it's a hard decision because we are going to get media. Um, as a damage dealer, so you could argue that getting a stronger tank could be great for the beginning. But honestly, you could just use Kier, who is a non-SSR that um, just has a shield and is a good tank. I used them for the beginning and it was pretty strong actually. And yet, of course, you'll have uh, Ruko to be a support champion to go along with media as well. So I don't think you really need her for the very beginning. I think having her, Aluya, is going to be a little bit more beneficial. So if you have to choose which banner to reroll on or which one to start pulling on, pull on this banner. So they've also showed this um, <laughs> event here, Burning Phoenix. So we already had this event as well, and I'm going to be honest, it wasn't the best. So luckily, they did do some adjustments and made the currency pretty easy to obtain as long as you grind it. But the one thing that I don't like is they, they put it out so early. Um, the beginning starts two days after global launch, which is what they did to us too. And honestly, I was not a fan. 
So back on my YouTube here, Burning Phoenix, I do have again a video for that event hold if you want to see the details of it. And what I didn't like is okay, it's it's cool, you get rewards, but the rewards are RNG. You get you have to like use these okay, and you can get these to summon. You don't get many of them. But the rewards are RNG. You have to pluck to get random things, wait until you've got all the things, and then you can move on to the next round of rewards. Um, and then the problem is here, all of these stages, they require you to spend your ether, to spend your energy. And this game does not give us much energy. So to have to divide up your energy between pushing your campaign, your adventure modes, pushing dungeons to get specific resources and trying to do an event at the same time. I'm honestly not a fan of this event coming into the game so quickly. I kind of wish they waited like a whole week before they did this. That's my opinion now. Unless they change it when it's global and we don't have to spend Eater to do this and to grind, which if it was a separate, some sort of separate currency, that's different. But like you kind of need to have the Eater, honestly, or else how, like, that's how you can rack up these feathers, which you end up, the wings, I mean, of ashes. That's how you rack those up. Um, that was good timing for my click there. And that's how you can use, uh the gotcha system for the rewards. So without that, uh, I mean, I guess they, they kind of have to make you use energy or else you would just blast through all the rewards and you'd be done with it. But I don't like that it divides up your attention so early on. So just kind of heed that. Be careful. Make sure you're not wasting. Once you get to the last stage, it's just meh rewards. So don't go crazy once you get there. But try your very best if you're going to play for your very first day or two Grind out the adventure the best you can and don't let this distract you. You could always come do this after. You don't have to overly grind it the first couple days. You can just do enough to get some daily rewards from it and then come back to it later after you've got a little bit more established with your account. So this, these are the same set of plays that they put out as well, which should have the same banners to go along with them. So you could check out my all my summons video to see my summons from this as well. I summoned on the... Or I, actually, I have one, the first science one. I summoned on the Swan Lake one. I tested... And I did some testing with uh, the plays. Actually, no, sorry. The Swan Lake, this, the, I guess character banner to go along with it for nuno i summoned on as well but for the plays i went with the uh raul the sir slut one with raul and phantom uh phantom of the opera here i think was a pretty strong set of plays but i kind of show the reality of how not exciting summoning for plays can be and it's a it's a fun little video, the one I have called Summons for Science. So you can check that out if you want to take a look at my summons on these play banners that are going to pop. Yeah, it's funny because I've already done all these events. So if you guys want to kind of see what the beginning of the game look like, you can see that here with, um, let's see. The reroll guide. Okay, yeah. But the Burning Phoenix event, all of my summons from the beginning the complaints I have about the energy and then the events and then the reasons I like the game. Spotlight on Gildan, 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 Gildan. Um, summons for Science was my Nuno banner summons and I think my play summons as well, if I remember right. And then they kind of address some of the changes to come, which were not enough. But I'm, I like this game, guys. I really do. I'm just heeding a little bit of a warning that I really hope they changed the way the energy is in this game or else you're probably going to have a lot of the same reactions as we did as a community when the soft launch happened of, okay, now what? We can't even play this game. There's no energy. So hopefully they fix that. But so you can actually download the game today. So start pre-downloading now on your devices. I don't have a fancy link to share, but I'll, I'll link the pre-registration link or the pre-download. I mean, you can find it now on Apple and um, 
Google as well. I should have a link for Bluestacks here soon, which I'll include in my descriptions when I do have a Bluestacks link for download, guys. But you could also wait. I mean, you don't have to do it today. You could do it tomorrow. You could do it the day of. You don't have to download today. Uh, but it will be launched on April 6th. So I'm going to be sleeping when this is launching. But as soon as I can afterward, I will be putting out some other guides for sure. So what else we got here? Minimum... Android system 7 and up, blah, blah, blah. Apple requirements, iPhone 8 and up pretty much. And 4 gigabytes. It is a lot. The game is very big. Be ready for a large download. Choosing a server close to your location also makes sense, of course. Bye-bye, Canada. <laughs> um, and that's kind of it. The top-up rebate stuff that they have here on these this part of their... Um, Twitter post and the posted also on the Discord. This is related to if you played during soft launch on the soft launch server, so you can ignore that if you're going to be coming into this game for the first time. But all right, guys, I think that kind of wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope I was helpful in kind of your initial thoughts for the beginning events. Just, yeah, it's going to have two banners and you're going to have to pull on one of them. And I would say pull on Aluya because she's a DPS and she is a pretty good one, honestly. And then try to get Gildan as well. They pair very well together. If you do get Aluya, get, you should try to get Gildan as well. Um, and then you could always wait to pull on the other guaranteed banner. Or you can pull on the guaranteed banner first. Don't like what you get. Reset and try again as well, I guess. But I'm going to do my best to get out all sorts of contents. I will have tier lists. I will have beginner tips overall. Um, completely different than today's, I guess. Or some, yeah, it's definitely different than what I talked about today. And I'll also have a reroll guide. So... I'm going to try to share some of my experience from me already having played this and the fact that it's the same events will make it very easy for me to get started with. So I'll share my knowledge that I've learned so far. But that's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.